Alrighty, it is June 23rd. It is about 10 20 a.m. I'm at my dad's house. I'm gonna do a garden tour. Um, you might have noticed uh, my voice is not doing too well right now. While we were in Kentucky on our trip visiting my grandparents, my dad got a cold. And by the time we got back, the day after we got back here, I got a cold. So sorry for all that, <clears throat> but I'm gonna try to um, not talk weird, but I don't know. I'll do the best I can. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me okay. So <clears throat> you can see, you can see there's a lot of, um, well, they're usually open more earlier. These ones aren't as open, but these are the spider war or whatever they are. And then there's some more over here. And there's actually a lot right now. There's some more over there. They're kind of open. They like to be open in the mornings. As you can see, I got pull weeds again. The sprinklers came on this morning. It's Sunday, usually they don't come on Sunday, but it's hot today. We're supposed to get to 101 here today. And uh, they haven't came on since Friday. So I wanna get the grass watered for this heat in the garden water for this heat today. So, see there's more Virginia spiderwort right here. A lot of columbine, which a lot of them have bloomed already. There's a flower there. There's some more that might bloom soon. I don't know, a lot of them are already blooming over and gone. But they started to bloom, to bloom before we left. More spiderwort there. More columbine here. More here, and then there's some uh, I think they're like sweet williams or china pinks or something there's some here and then there's some over here there's a european paper wasp right there with the long legs there's, oh there's another bee i think that was a honey bee right there or something flew that way and there's more columbine there so more spider wart there you can see there's irises there and uh, i think they're done blooming so here's the honey locust trees they this side doesn't get a lot of new growth but over by the sidewalk and by this part of the front yard it gets a lot of new growth on it there's some there big long branch new growth going from here all the way up to there so that's probably about two or three feet so uh yeah these grow fast there's more new growth here we got to trim these lower branches because they're getting low this long piece of new growth going from here all the way up to here. <coughs> Here's the other honey locust we planted. It's an imperial honey locust. We have new growth here to here. It's a little breezy today. This morning it wasn't. It's supposed to be breezy, so hopefully it won't be um, as hot as if it weren't breezy. You see new growth up there and uh, new growth over there in the street. There's a view of the honey locust there, and then there's those two. No, you can see they're starting to get them seed pods on them that eventually look like that. So there's all that, and then <clears throat> the neighbors they had in front of their house, they got them daylilies. Daylilies right there, blooming or something. And, uh, so yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, Here's the wisteria or the golden chain tree. It's not blooming anymore, but it's got the leaves on it still. Irises in here that have stopped blooming and grass that I still need to pull out. You can see the neighbor's hydrangeas are blooming. These are pretty. I like hydrangeas. There was a lilac here that was blooming, but it stopped and there's more hydrangeas here. There's the neighbor's Audenburg's maple tree. It's got new growth on it from there to there. Honey locusts are starting to get in this way now. When we first moved in, honey locusts were out up to there, now they're up there, so they're definitely grown. So, <coughs> I'll show you the backyard. Here's these bushes here. Here's the air conditioner, it's hot today. It's already almost 90 degrees. It's gonna be working hard today, so. There's a bush here. As you can see, a lot of the Johnny jump ups are not doing well anymore because it's getting hot. They've kind of died. And 
I don't really do, I don't really like the heat that much. So, there's a bush there. Nothing much to show you on the trail. Uh, we have flowers, nothing much to show you, just trees and a bunch of wheatgrass everywhere. Here's the weeping yuccas. They got these stalks on here that are going to start blooming. Now, when we were in Kentucky, there, were, there was some Jacob's Ladder there, which are really similar. And they were already blooming. So I think they're a little ahead of schedule. And their spring starts earlier compared to here. <coughs> you see all that there. The Douglas fir's new growth is pretty much almost the same color as the old part. As you can see, you can see there's some hollyhocks under there. Oh, well, these actually started blooming, as you can see. There's going to be a lot of blooms on this one. I'm pretty excited. More there that will bloom, more over there that are already starting to open up. So that's exciting. There's a Douglas fir. And uh, here, here is the tomato plant. It's got some weeds in there that I need to pull out. But you can see there's some flowers over there. I think it's a sun sugar cherry tomato. And pretty soon I should get some tomatoes on it, which will be nice. There's over here is the acorn squash, which um, it's got some flowers on it still. Let's see if there's any squash. Mm, not seeing any. But that's that one. And uh, you can see it's still wet for when the sprinklers came on earlier. They started about 6 a.m. and got done about 9:10. So this area got wet by 7. 05 is when zone 3 turns on and it gets all this area here and then so that area this whole patio will be wet except for that area where the chair is but this part will stay wet for a while because it's kind of I don't know, uneven so that part stays wet there for the longest and then dries off and um <coughs> sorry oh yeah here's there's a view of the douglas fir again and then here's the cherry tree. The cherry tree at my mom's house. The cherry trees at my mom's house are already um, got cherries on them and I ate some of them. There's actually a European paper wasp on that cherry right there getting in the fruit, but these ones are pretty much done for. There were some Johnny Jim bumps in there, but they're gone too. And, oh yeah, and then the last thing I'll show you is the, um, there's some succulents over here. Hens and shake succulents that are definitely spreading and uh, that's pretty much it. There's some there, and then there's some all over here. So, that's about it of the garden. And uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll enjoy it.